hello 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 this is Frida welcome to my channel okay uh, on this video I'm going to show you how to sew labels uh, I already sewed on this one this is a bridal shrug that I am knitting okay uh, if you want to see pictures please go to my Instagram page I post pictures daily <laughs> and some funny videos as well okay so uh what i do is uh, it's a label which i purchased from um oh where's my from alu designs on etsy i will put the link below and i already have a review on a couple of labels that i purchased from her okay it says made in canada with the canada flag because i live in canada and these are all made in canada and i have my uh etsy website which is ufair.etsy.com and the back is like this. This is a wo woven. She has several different labels. So uh, I put my label indicating that I have handmade this. Well, it, it, it looks like it's handmade. So what I do is uh, I grab my thread here and I do double, double, I double it. And I'm going to be sewing on buttons for this. So these are all extra work. And it's, it is time consuming, right? Because you need to put your knitting away and then you need to start sewing. So this is how I sew, hand sew. I would not recommend using a machine because the machine, uh, the sewing machine will stretch the fabric. And these are old handmade, so we don't want to stretch our handmade items. So just delicately, just knit. Uh, I picked the middle of the collar here. I measured it. I go like this. And this is on the middle, back of the label. And I already have uh, several uh, on my Etsy links uh, how to care for the product. So uh, sometimes I print it. But uh, it's already in the link that they purchased from. Or, uh, or what I do is I print how to care for the fabric. All my recommendation is hand wash your handmade items. I would not put it in the washer. Even with store bots, they do stretch. Yeah, with the agitating and the stretching, right? Especially when you put it in. Sometimes I do put it in the dryer. It depends. If it's too big, I will because it uh, does shrink when you put it in the washer. So, But just be cautious. If it's, if it's wool, I would not because it will felt. So this is how I do it. Just like this. And I'm going to show you how to sew the buttons. What I do is while I'm knitting, I put marks on uh, where I put my uh, buttonhole because uh, knitting with a uh, fluffy yarn like this, like fuzzy yarn, it's really hard to see the buttonholes that you make. And what I do is, I'll just show you because I'm almost done. And I make a knot just like this. And I, what I do is I just hide it like this and I grab my scissors and I just cut that Ta -da, and it's done and I have my label on okay so the customer wanted black buttons so I went to my button box and I found black buttons okay okay so what I do is while I'm knitting Okay, while I'm knitting, I put uh, my uh, markers just like this when I put my uh, holes, as I can see where they are. But when I'm making the buttonhole, I make the other side, I put a marker as well. So these markers are going to be where I'm going to sew my buttons. And when you hold them equally, you will see that they are all equal, just like this. Okay. And I'm just looking. So I'm going to start from here. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. I need six buttons. And uh, this is for a female. So I'm going to be sewing the buttons on the left side of the cardigan, the coat, whichever you're knitting, sweater, 
well, the sweater doesn't have buttons, but cardigan, anything open. So I'm counting again. Six, total of six button holes. Okay. The button holes are on the other side and the buttons are here. So I'm going to grab my button. I'm sitting awkward, unfortunately, because I can't bend over. And uh, so I'm going to make a knot. Just like this. And then I'm going to grab, believe me, it's really hard to sew buttons on a, on a fuzzy item. Okay, so I'm going to put my button right here. Okay. Where the butts, where I marked it. Okay. So, uh, the border, uh, the button border is uh, here. I can see that. So I'm going to put it in the middle, just like this. Okay, and while I do that, okay, I'm going to go back in. And then what I do is, because it's double, uh, double strand, right? So I go in the middle just to secure it, and I pull. I pull it so I don't have to worry about that knot opening cause, uh, because this uh, is, is very thick, right? So I'm going to continue, continue going back and forth, back and forth. I would say four times would do the trick. Okay, it's pulling down because it's pretty heavy. Yep, the coat is pretty heavy. It's over three pounds for sure. I haven't weighed it yet, but... Uh, So what I do is I poke it. It's really hard. Okay. So I'll go to this one. Huh. If you're uh, sewing on a fabric that it's not like what I'm going through, because uh, it will pick the fi pick up the fiber, uh, the 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 fibers when I am uh, sewing because the fuzzy so I would say four will do the trick on each hole so go back and forth go back and forth so this is two three And then four. Okay, so I did one on the other hole. So there's a total of four holes. It depends on your button. So two. Three. And then four. I'm not gonna pull it because I, I need that uh, strand on the back, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be needing this. This uh, so I'm gonna tie it. So what I do is I go between and I make a knot and I secure it. Just to be on the safe side, I do it like this. I know I can't see what I'm doing, but uh, I, I'm believing. I grab those strands <laughs> and I do a couple of them, and I finish one of the button that I have sewed. So there's five more to go. Okay, I'm going to make a knot again for the second button. And I'll just show it to you. This is how it looks like. So I'm going to remove this. Okay, and then uh, I will put the button just like this. I'm not going to remove this. 
I will, um, I'm going to take pictures and um, I'm going to make a video while I'm wearing it. So you can come and check on my Instagram page. And please do follow me on my Instagram page as I have less than 700 followers. I really appreciate if you can follow me. And uh, yeah, there, because I po post finished items, working progress and so on. So this is how it looks like. Doesn't this look nice? With the black button. Oh my goodness. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so I'm going to continue sewing the rest of the buttons. But I'm not going to remove this one. Because uh, then I'm going to have a hard time finding where the buttonhole is. When I'm packing, I will remove them. Okay, just to point out. But uh, other than that, you can remove it. Okay, so I'm going to sew my next button here. And I'm going to repeat it five more times. And I will come back to show you how it looks like. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is. I sewed up the buttons. And I left the buttonhole markers where I put the buttonhole mar markers. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'll just show you. And then you just button it up like this. The fabric is pretty thick, so it's kind of hard to button it up. But uh, I used a bigger buttonhole. I used a bigger button. And uh, so this is how it looks like so far. Total of six buttons to finish it up. Doesn't fit the screen, unfortunately, because it's huge. It's pretty long. And... Uh, yeah, so I will do a, here we go. <laughs> and this is how you sew a button. Uh, and uh, yeah, I would highly recommend you to uh, use this method when you're making your buttonholes, put a marker and on the across where you're going to be sewing the button. So this is for females, if you're a male, this was cardigan for a male what I do is I do the buttonholes on the left side and I sew the buttons on the right but usually I put a zipper for men depend on what the customer wants so uh, I hope you like this tutorial the short uh, tutorial for information how to sew a label and how you can see how the label looks and uh, those uh, leather labels that I have, uh, tags that I have purchased from, again, something like this. What you do is you can put it on the front or on one of the edges here. And then you can put this one as well. Usually I use these for uh, blankets or uh, hats or scarves. And uh, these are they're very nice and looks unique. But uh, for this one, I just did the tag. I sewed on the woven tag. But for this, I don't uh, put it on for uh, for this uh, for these uh, labels. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends, and do not forget to hit that notification button. Yeah, don't be shy. Every time I post a video, you will be notified indicating I post a new video. Happy knitting. Happy sewing. <laughs>